Okay, to get started, I just have a video clip on my timeline where I'd like to zoom in to this girl. Begin by selecting your clip on the timeline, and then go up to Effect Controls. In here, under Motion, you'll see a setting for the anchor point. Select it to see the anchor point in your video preview. Move the anchor point over the part of the video you'd like to zoom into. Now, back in Effect Controls, you'll see this mini version of your timeline clip. Move the playhead to where you want to start zooming in. Then click the stopwatch next to Scale to create a starting keyframe. Next, move the playhead to where you want to be all the way zoomed in by. Increase the scale to how much you'd like to zoom into. This will automatically create a second keyframe for your animation. So now, when the playhead reaches your first keyframe, it starts zooming in, and then when it gets to your second keyframe, it finishes the zoom. Alright, next let's hold our zoom before zooming back out. To do this, move the playhead to where you want to start zooming back out. Then click this little circle button, which will create a third keyframe for your current scale. Finally, to zoom back out, move the playhead to where you want your video to be unzoomed. Click this reset parameter button to create a keyframe for the scale's original unzoomed value. Okay, now when I scrub through this, my video zooms in, and then when it hits that third keyframe, it starts zooming out until it hits the fourth keyframe. I think this is looking pretty good, but I think it looks smoother if we eased our zooms. To ease, drag to select your first two keyframes, then right click one of them, and select Ease In. Next, drag to select your last two keyframes, right click one of them, and select Ease Out. Okay, now this is looking smoother and more professional. If you want to change the speed of your zoom in, just drag your second keyframe closer or further from your first one. And you can do the same thing for your zoom out by dragging the fourth keyframe. That's it for our smooth zooms, but before we go, I'd like to cover how to do a zoom jump cut. For this, I'm going to delete my last two keyframes, so I just have a zoom in. Back on the timeline, position the playhead to where you want to zoom out with your jump cut. Then, use the razor tool to cut your clip at that position. With the selection tool, select the second part of your clip on the timeline, and in Effect Controls, click the Scales Reset Parameter button, which will reset your video back to its original scale. Okay, and there I have an animated zoom in that uses a jump cut to zoom back out. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.